Okay. Okay, hold on. Let me make sure everybody can see you. Okay. Um, is anybody on? We have one person on. We wait for them to say hello. Make sure we can see everything. Hi, Terry. Say hi to Terry. Hi, Terry. Okay. Um, let's talk about the supplies while we wait for people to jump on. Okay, so we'll do the first thing. So, what are you what are you using today? Hi, Deidre. Um, today. We're going to be doing watercolors. We're going to have our Teza papers. We have our Teza paints, too. Yes, so we are using the watercolor paints. These are the colors she has out. She has cerulean blue, phthalo blue, ice blue, and cobalt blue. And these are all our Teza premium watercolors. Ice blue, I. I can see it just a little. You can see it, right? It's a really light blue, right? Yeah. Okay. And then you are painting on Arteza uh, Expert Watercolor Pad. This is 9 by 12, and it is 140 pound weight. Right? Okay. So go ahead. Start your tutorial. And just so I know, I have paints right up here. You can those. Let me fix the camera here. Sorry, my finger's in the way. There we go. And she has a little bucket of water and some brushes off to the side. And this is just a strip of the watercolor paper. Oh, if that's too much, put it back. Um, that we just used as a palette. Hi, Dee. Hi, Terry. Terry says hi, Leah. Hi. Uh, you're supposed to wipe your paper first. Oh, wait. <laughs> so put that brush down and use this brush to wet. So tell them what you're doing. First, Leah's going to wet her paper. Okay. Hi, Linda. So she's just using water and pre-wetting her panel. You can go right over your paint stuff, too. Go ahead. Put, put more water on your brush. Doesn't have to be perfect. Go ahead, just get it all wet. Here. Ah. There. It's gonna. <laughs> just wet it a little more. Yep. Recorders. When it's all wet, I think I see some dry spots. You want me to help you out? Where? You got to be in the light to see them. Okay, you're all wet now. Here, go ahead. You want the brush with the paint on it? Go ahead. Hello, Anne. Leah is using some Arteza watercolor paints and Arteza watercolor paper and she's doing this blue background it's okay if the brush is wet keep going It has been an awful rainy day here, and in some parts of our area, we've had some giant hail storms, and I guess there was even a tornado warning. However, we were lucky we didn't get anything here, just some rain. And Leah's just picking her four colors of blue and putting them on her watercolor panel.
You're not going to talk to your viewers and tell them what you're doing? So, um, I'm making this blue background because, um, so we're going to put, um... No, no, you don't tell them that part yet. That's part of your video. Just tell them what you're doing here. They'll see that part when you get to it. So I'm just putting little dots so I don't get it really big like I accidentally did that one because I put too much water. That's okay. So I'm just putting little dots like this. All right, and then you're going to take your brush and spread it out, right? You didn't miss anything, Terry. Leah's just doing her watercolor background here so we can move on to part two. I will give you a hint. Part two does involve Wait. foiling. Is this one um a different one than all these? No. Okay. Hi, Melanie. Like my sister. Yeah, like your sister. All right. This one we can just a little bit see it. Right, are you going to spread that paint out now? Yep. I'll use this one. So. Okay, go ahead. So you see, um, I'm just lightly spreading it across the whole thing. Like we can do S or something. Can I put more paint over here? Probably. Okay. Use the same brush. Hi, Renee. As you see, I'm putting more paint over here. You have uh, nine people watching you. I don't see any thumbs up, guys. Leah counts her thumbs ups, just saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she always asks me how many thumbs up are in her video. Oh, there's one. Yay. Renee gave you some thumbs ups. Yay. Thank you, there's Renee. two. <clears throat> Thanks, guys. There's three. Oh, they're adding up. You got 10 people watching you. They didn't even know Four. until you said it. Okay. It's kind of like when we did the tilting thing, but we don't yep. tilt it. Let's put a little bit of water. Yep. Put it right down. Are you done with that part? Yeah. Okay, so then what's the next part? What do we do when it's wet? Then my mom's going to help me dry it. So let's move this out of the way. Wave it around. Not so close. Up here. Wave it around. I'm putting fingers on it. Not too close. All right, so you guys wouldn't have to be watching her dry the whole time. She did pre-make a panel already. Let's clean that up real quick. Hold on. So this is the one I already did off camera before you made this video. Yeah, they really wet. Okay, and now we are going to bring in da -da -da. the foil press. And we have it set to medium. We're waiting for it to warm up. And we have cut a piece of Go Press and Foil in the color pink purple. Okay. And, and here's the color. Here is the color. And we are going to put down our little seahorse. And I'm sorry, I don't remember who I got this seahorse from. If it looks familiar, shout it out. It is a hot foil dye. And here's a foil piece that's going to go on top of it. Does it go this way? The, um, yes. Yep. Like a that, diamond. and then we're going to put the watercolored piece over top of it and we're going to put this over top of it and we're going to wait for it to 
beep and that'll tell us that it's hot and ready. It shouldn't take long. No, you're live. There's no pausing a video. Wait. Say hi, Evelyn. Hi, Evelyn. My friend's name is close to Evelyn. It's Emberlyn. Emberlyn. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so we're waiting for it to warm up. It shouldn't take too long. We gotta make sure the Gemini's on. I still get a lot of questions on using the Gemini foil press on using it with a regular Gemini and a Gemini Junior. I know a lot of you guys took advantage of the sale HSN had on the Gemini. If you get the foil press, there is a special adapter that you need for the full-size Gemini. Um, that you cannot use this by itself without the Gemini Junior without that full extender plate. Mommy. She's my mini me, Melanie. If you go over to our Instagram, which is Nancy Stamps 15, you will see a picture we took on Snapchat yesterday, and she is my little mini me. Mommy. Yes, Leah. Yeah. Did you ever make up. a video when you showed your face? I did. What? Last year. They don't even see my face. They just need to see my hands. And my Look, hands. I just got my nails done. Yep. One of her fingers broke. My finger broke? Yeah, remember when, like, the nail came off? <laughs> my fingernail broke, not my finger broke. <laughs> 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 All right, we're just waiting for this thing to turn green. It should have taken long enough. Can you get a drink? No, you're filming live. Your friends want to talk to you. Yeah, can you get me a milk? I mean, get you a drink in a minute. I said milk. So the reason I set this on medium is because we're going to be foiling a pretty solid image and foiling on watercolor paper. So because it's a little thicker, I wanted to make sure that we had enough heat. Normally, this doesn't take too long. Warm. It's getting pretty, pretty warm there. So we should be ready to go here in a second. And I just heard it beep or click, so it should yeah. be getting close. And I, I am hand. going to, no, I'm going to actually slide you out of the way because I don't want you touching it. Oh, um, it did not work. <laughs> it didn't work. Up oh, there we go. Okay. That was scary. All right. So scary. now I'm going to set the timer for 10 seconds, if I can remember how to do it. Actually, we're going to do 15. And hit start. And while that counts down, I'm going to slide Miss Lee out of the way, and then I will run it through the Gemini Junior quickly. Where's your other panel? Is that ready to go? Can we do two? Oh, yeah. Okay. <sighs> All right, let's see if that worked. And it did, but I had moved the die and the foil. So this is why I had you make two. I actually probably could line this up and do it again. We're going to, we're going to do this one. Just in case we messed up. Yeah, mommy messed up. Yep, but we can fix that one later. It'll just take some tape to fix it. All right, let me move this out of the way. Warm this up a little more because it's still a little damp. Brittany says, I already have the Maker and the Empress. I don't know if it will fit in those machines, Evelyn. All right, that's pretty dry. Let's try this again with another piece of foil. Go. Okay, here we go. Is that going to be big enough? Nope, we're going to have to cut another piece of foil. 
And again, the Toto foil, the Crafter's Companion foil, the new We Are Memory Keepers foil quill foil. Um, what else is there? Spellbinders foil. Those are all heat activated foils. They will all work in this system. Um, Deco foil will not work. Mink foil will not work. This is specialty heat activated foil that has an adhesive already built into it. And when it heats up, it activates it. So again, we have it for 15 seconds on medium. We're going to hit start. We should be okay. That actually didn't foil too bad. I just missed the bottom piece there, but I can fix that. And then you're going to decorate it. Just lay it in over here. Mommy, the Hello Kitty is right there, and the Hello Kitty on your computer phone. Alright, do you want the stamps for coral stamps? They're in that black basket there. Yes. Yep, look for the coral stamps. Put it on here. Alright, and there you can see beautifully foiled uh, medium 15 seconds we can have fishies on there and now leah's going to decorate this and i'm gonna find some so cool she's got some cool coral stamps hold on somewhere wow it looks so beautiful oh my so beautiful like a rainbow. Okay, so these are some coral stamps that we have, and these are all from Creative Vision Stamps. And she's going to stamp the bottoms here. And while you're stamping, I'm going to fix this other one for us. And how I would fix this, guys, just so you can see, is uh, the bottom part that didn't foil, I would take a scrap piece of foil, like this. And then put the die back over it where I know that it foiled. Because it will because it's slightly um engraved embossed, I should say, it the die will fit right into place. And I know that's where it needs to be foiled, and then I would run it through the machine again. A little piece of tape over here to hold it. Okay, so I'm gonna refoil that piece while. Leah does her stamping on this piece. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. This video is becoming a little long, so you want to <laughs> kind of move it along here. All right. These are your coral pieces. I'm going to give you these eggs. What colors you want? Greens? Greens, blacks, um, some yellows. Yellows not going to show up on there. Okay. So here's your inks. Black what? is up top Well, there. it won't look like a yellow one here. Here's your foil. Here's your blocks. Ah. There you go. First, um, I'm going to do the... Hmm. First, I'm going to do this. What is it? Okay. I have this dark green here. So I'm going to put it onto... This stamp right here. Hi, Tracy. Not too much ink with those. Those are the juicy ones. I know. You're going to have your seahorse guy hiding in the seaweed? Maybe. Is it getting on him? Yep. It's okay. Press it down. Oh, that was loud. Like he's hiding. I put just a little bit. One, two, three. And if you miss some, it's okay because you could you could probably find like a color like pen or something and and draw it in. There are 
there's the messed up one, perfectly fixed now. So now you have two. Like he's hiding inside the seaweed. Yep. Don't worry about cleaning them. Just keep stamping. I'll clean them. Okay. I'm putting them right Oh, there. oh, Leah. I was going to clean. Just gave you other blocks. <laughs> huh? What? That's why I gave you other blocks, so I could take the dirty ones and clean for you. With the blocks? Yeah, that's okay. Here, you have other corals. Here, this one's called brain coral. This is normally pink, and it goes at the bottom. <laughs> why is it called brain coral, you think? It looks like a brain. Yep. Guys, this is the brain coral. And I'm going to use this pink. Very nice. And put maybe like two or three at the bottom. Okay, and left. That looks great. Put okay. a little bit more. Yeah, One, yeah. No. two. I'm actually just going to put two at the bottom because it won't fit enough for three. Okay, we have these other things to stamp to. Move this paint out of the way. Okay, and lift. Okay, this one's ready to go if you wanted to do this color. Yeah, so I'm going to use this light green. Oh, I got to close my pink. Over here. Get you a brown for this one. Wait, that's supposed to be brown? Whatever color you want. What do you want? Purple, blue? Blue. Blue? Yeah. Okay. Blue on blue. Okay. That's a really I've never nice seen color. blue coral before, but okay. What oh, is that's pretty. Go ahead. What if it kind of like turns blue underwater? Where can I put this? I put down here. Just like there you go. Just one is good. You can put it anywhere you want. I don't know where to put it. I'm going to put it up here. It's kind of not showing. It's very light, isn't it? Yeah, okay. that's okay, though. Okay, here's this one. Here's your blues. Mm. Okay. Mm. okay. Oh, that went all over me. Was that water in there? It's cleaning fluid, but I have water if you need it. Okay, so I'm going to use this blue on this coral. I'm, I'm really careful because I don't want it, like, all over my hand. Yeah. Let's see, it looks... Put it right here. Oh, that's cool. I would have never thought of putting that on top of the brain coral. Okay. Three, two, one, left. Oh. I put the other one on top of the other pink curl. <laughs> I almost put it down upside down. That was really close. Put it over here off the edge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. Okay. Kind of smeared right there, but that's okay. Probably. Can't even tell. No, that's from your background. It is? Yeah, when you were painting. Hmm. Okay. I wish I could have, like... Here's one more. <gasps> I want to see you. Well, no, that's not going to work. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's not going to work. It's good. Are you done now? No. You're not? I just need one more, which is this one. Okay. And it's going to go right there. Well, this one kind of goes this way, but you stamp it any way you want. Right there. <laughs> well, like maybe over here. No. Just do like a little piece of it. Okay. Down, down. Like that. Does that look cool? So, Leah, you have a great and clear voice for YouTube. Yeah, and sometimes... you are very creative. They want to know who you're making this for. Let me see your stamp. What'd you do? Oh, you're just going to do that? So you're going to do it over here? 
right there like just the edge like this there you go they want to know who you're making this for i don't know you don't know do you want to send it to one of your subscribers yeah what do they got to do to win it so so give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you want to win if you want to get this card my mom will see and is this the end of the video i don't know if it's the end of the video or not do you want it to be the end of the video i mean you've been talking for 25 minutes no, do you want to do that one too no i want to do you want to do what how about you stamp that on the back that's a different kind of stamp so i'm doing it on this one then okay you do it on that one <laughs> So, are we moving this one out of the way? Yeah. This one we're going to keep. Dee says she loves watching us. Thanks, Dee. Sometimes when, when I see my... Say friend, hi to Dee's Terry. We have two Terry's. What? We have Terry from Canada, Terry, and we have Dee's Terry. Canada? Yeah. Okay, so this one we're going to keep. Oh, we're going to keep one and we're going to give one away? Yeah. Oh, okay. This one's going to go to one of our lucky subscribers. Yeah. Say, so how about we are really close to 300 people on Facebook. If they go to Nancy Stamps 15 and like us and follow us on Facebook, they can have an extra entry once we get to 300. How's that sound? Yeah, good. Because that's fair. Hello, Stephanie. <gasps> Mommy. Sometimes when I see myself on camera, my voice turns squeaky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I have this stamp. It's good. It's um a seashell. And maybe I can use one of these stars. Hmm. I'm going to put these up here like this. Okay, well, it's getting late, and uh, you have to go to bed, and I'm sure some of these people need to go to bed. So you got to do this quickly and wrap it up. Okay, so I'm going to use this color right here. Say hi to Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. It's not sticking very well. I told you it's that stamp. It's a cheapy stamp. Did it just fall off the block? Yeah. <laughs> You. Hurry up, because I need to use that block again. Oh, here you go, ma'am. Thank you. Stamp cleaners for you. <laughs> it's a silicone stamp. That's why. Right. Another brain. Another brain. Would you like some other colors, ma'am? Yeah. You just want all the colors, don't you? Yeah. You want all my new ink pads. Wait, these are new? These are, yes, these are my new ones. You said yellow won't show up. It won't show up. It's going to turn green. Oh, yeah. Don't do that again. Wasting ink that way. Wish I was in California. <laughs> Linda, can we come visit? <laughs> Are you got hiccups? Boo! It didn't work. <laughs> I still just felt one. <laughs> <coughs> See? I just want a bit of this, like. It's floating. Floating. No, it looks like it's behind the seashell. Good job. 
Here's your other block. Can I put another seahorse on there? No, you already have a foiled one on there. I want another one, though. Ow. No, those are layered. That's not going to work. Uh, Stick to this side. So I would maybe do one of these green ones in the background. Hey! Here. So this is the ground, and then you have that leafy side. I'm making it red. You can make it whatever you want. Whoa. That was weird, but I landed it. Not so much ink there, Miss Juicy Bottoms. Those are the juicy ink pads. I didn't know that. I'm going to get splotches. Renee says, cute colors you're picking out. Thank you. You, you have to press down with the palm of your hand. There you go. Because you're not using a stamping block. And it's hard because I'm not like using the flip thing, so it kind of looks oh, like Oh, the shadowy. misty. Now we're spoiled with the misty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doing good. Here, maybe add some green or some brown. I'm going to mix. You're not mixing my colors. You can mix my <laughs> colors. You can color it with marker when you're done. Like orange. Oh wow, that's not a yellow. It's not. It does not look like a yellow. It looks like this one. Stephanie says it's two a.m. in the UK. Stephanie, I got an affiliate notice with. Hold on. Wait, two a.m. is early in the morning. Yep. Wow. Well, she's across the country. Um. Hold on, let me find the info here. I forgot which one we're on. You're on this one. Craftstash.co.uk sent me an affiliate link. I haven't ordered anything from them yet, um, but I'm going to look into that and um, see if I can get you guys a discount over there in the UK. I, I think one. you need some green. I have green. No, you don't have any green on that one. Yes, I do. Where? That's yellow. No. It's not. Here. Do you want this one? Did you do this one yet? Yes, I did that one. You did? I don't see it on, on this. Yeah, but you didn't do it on that one. Okay. You're, you're pushing 33 minutes here. How much things do I have? Tracy says, Leah, all those shells and coral look great. Thank you. How much thumbs up do I have now? How many thumbs up do you have? Hold on. You have 11 thumbs up and 18 people watching you. 18 thumbs up and 18 people. Okay. Are you done yet? Yep. You're done? Mm -hmm. Do you want to go get your Arteza markers and color some of those in? Yeah. Oh, you need to pull the chair out? Yeah. All right. So while you go get your markers, I'm going to heat set these real quick for you. I like how this paper really didn't warp that badly either. It really held up to its shape. Some watercolor paper just really curls up, and this didn't do too bad. And now she's bringing in some more of her Arteza staff. What do you it's got there? Arteza. What do you got there? We have Arteza Twee markers. There's only 48 in there. 48 is more than enough for you. Okay, 
Whoa. You did that all of them? Here you go. Color your corals and stuff in. Okay, I'm going to take some blues. I'm going to use this color blue. You can see it up there. That was very nice of you. Hello, Sally. And if you want to, if you made some mistakes, you could just fill them in like I'm going to do. Your head's in the way. It there is. you go. <laughs> we put the other stamping block away? No. Oh, that's okay. Keep coloring. Over here, it's so light, and now over here, it's so dark. That's what's fun. It really makes it look like it's underwater. Well, you can color them in solid. You don't have to outline them. But if you wanted to outline them, you use this side of the marker, the thin side. Mm. But you can go ahead and color that whole thing in. It'll look cool. In markers, um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Now, um, I think I am gonna go to the blues. So let me get the thick blue. It's kind of dark. Got this blue, and I found these two. Uh, Renee, the watercolor paper is, I'll show it to you guys again. She's using all Arteza products. Um, it, this is the uh, Arteza Expert watercolor sheets. There's 14 in here. It's 9 by 12 in size. We cut it down. Um, it's 140 pound. It's a very heavy Wait, duty yes. watercolor paper. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then the paints she used were the Arteza watercolor okay, premium watercolors I'm going to fill in this one and now she's using the arteza twee markers twee twee like twin like twin are you copying my word sorry mm -mm. i don't like that okay now i'm gonna take this green and i'm gonna get out for you my marker won't go in Get it out. <laughs> oh, thank you. Is that green? I'm gonna... And I'll link everything down below for you guys once we are done. Your head is in the way. <laughs> you know, that. Yeah, your head's in the way. We can't see you. Put your big yeah. head in the way. Okay. Keep coloring. Mm. Mm -hmm. You can color. 
You're fine. You can bring it down a little closer to you. There you go. You made me mess up. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Look what you made me do. No problem, Renee. That's what I'm here to do. Clean up Leah's mess and answer questions. <laughs> this is Leah's stamps. Wait, why? Is that thing paused? It's not paused. I'm watching you. But. Oh, there we go. It now I can see you. Go ahead. You need to wrap this up. Your video is becoming 40 minutes and your head's in the way. <laughs> Quit bending over. <laughs> I'm trying to color this all. I don't know that. You want to use the same color or you want to switch to a different color? Leah says she's going to send this card out to somebody. We are close to 9,000 subscribers on YouTube, which means we will be having a giveaway soon once we hit that number. Um, but we're trying to build up our Instagram and our Facebook page because that's where we post pictures of finished products in case you didn't catch the videos. Uh, Nancy Stamps 15 on Instagram and Nancy Stamps 15 on Facebook if you would like to like our page and follow us over there. I'm going to use this pink color. We'll pick some winners and get some cards mailed out. Yes, it's open to international. I do have how many international stamps? Mm -hmm. I have one international stamp left. So we will send one out to somebody international and one out to somebody in the U.S. Oh, that's a bright pink. It's kind of hard because I only have like one finger on it. Nice job. I think since you're almost done with kindergartner, you're, you're really becoming a, a grown-up little kid here. Like, you don't know, color outside the lines anymore. Um, almost. You sleep in your own bed now. They're saying you need your own Instagram channel. That get me one. You can. Oh, okay, Renee. The gouache and the watercolors and the acrylics. Yes, I remember Renee. She's just doing watercolors today. And markers. And markers, yes. And um, foils. Markers are nice for filling in that stuff. I have not tried. Let me try a marker test. While Leah's doing her marker test, I have a scrap piece of watercolor paper ooh, here. Ooh. No, no, I'm going to do my own marker test over uh -huh. here. Because I didn't test these out thoroughly. Hey, I need to them. use something. Oh, I need to use it. You, you do what you're doing. I, need to I didn't check to see if these were need it. blendable and water reactive. This one? Okay. No. All right. So they no. definitely do blend. Now let's see if I can get them to move. Wait, I didn't put anything blue on this one? I don't know. Good thing that didn't fall. I didn't put anything blue on that one. What? You're shading them? Oh, in? they are water reactive. Oh, these will add to our little uh, stash of Arteza brush is markers. That, is that glitter? No, it's just a water, water pen. And these are also from Arteza. Look at that. I did not know that these markers did that. Huh, something else I learned today. Mm. Wait, that's They're watercolor the markers. That's in the set? Yeah. Can I squeeze it on? Yeah. So those will work nicely with the brush pens. Except you have a little more control over these pens because the tips are a little smaller. Yeah. And you have that fine point. That was cool. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Leah. I wouldn't have experimented that if you weren't watercolor. Look, there she goes, spreading the color around. <laughs> you got your paper towel It's like here. they're together. Let me do that. That's like a double brain coral. <laughs> I 
Okay, I added there. pink. Here, you can dab that out of there. I don't want See? it pink. Oh, I thought you didn't want it pink. Oh, okay. Well, I think that is all for our video tonight, Today. guys. I'm not going to color this until... I'm going to color it maybe tomorrow? Yeah. What do you want to say to your viewers? Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe. Um. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And make sure to... Now Keep on stamping. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. Don't forget Nancy Stamps 15 on Facebook and Instagram. We want to wanna try to get that yes. pumped up to win one of Leah's cards. We will mail those on a card mm -hmm. and we will mail those out to you guys. Thank you guys for staying with us tonight. See ya. Bye. <laughs> the first time they saw my face. They've seen your face. What? Okay, you can take those.